Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Great War mod as the Ottoman Empire. So in the last episode, we finally defeated the Balkan League. Uh, it was a tough fight, but we got the, we did the damn thing and defeated them, and now we own uh, all of their lands. Uh, Bulgaria, Serbia, Montenegro, and all of Greece here. We also ended the war with Italy, though that might have been the video before that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so we're at completely at peace right now. Uh, we're just kind of starting to get ready for the next war. Now, I went ahead and changed the colors over here already to some of our divisions you might have already noticed that uh, one thing that was brought up in the comments uh, was changing up our icon here for the Janissaries which by the way uh, I couldn't find the name I think that was I checked the last two videos uh, for those two names that were suggested for the regular infantry and I think it was the uh, cavalry units um, but I couldn't find those I might have to look a little bit further back uh, but yeah other than that we just don't have any names yet for these guys and I'm fine with just not naming them as well um, let's go ahead and change up these guys icons uh, we want something that kind of fits for the Janissaries here I'm not seeing anything that really just screams out at me right now for something that will work for the Janissaries except for the swords uh, so there's two sword icons here we, we'll just go probably go with this one here uh, yeah let's let's name them that um, yeah, that'll work out, and it should already uh, be saved and everything. Okay, so that'll be our icon for the Janissaries. If you guys saw any other ones uh, that you think might be a better fit, then just holla out in the comments, and, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, so now that we have that done, uh, one of the other things that was brought up in the comments, actually by the same person, uh, is the fact that the Emirate here, the Emirate of Najid, or however you pronounce that, is having their independence guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Uh, so we are not going to be able to declare war on them. That's that's not gonna happen, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight the British right now. That is not desirable. Uh, we're not prepared for that, so we're not gonna declare war on them. And that also means that we really don't want to have our troops over here on this line uh, because this is not uh, a good place uh, supply-wise. I don't even know if we could supply all those units there. Uh, so we'll want to put them somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure where. There's not really any other fronts that we need them. We'll probably put them over here in Iran for now. Uh, though we really just don't know what's gonna, where we're gonna end up needing them. Uh, we might actually need them over here because there is a uh, uh, one of the national focuses here, which would end up resulting in us being at war with them. So we might uh, need to go to war with them first before Persia, which I don't even know if we'll declare war on Persia. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this just yet. Uh, I know that the target I really want to go to war with next is Romania here, uh, but we're gonna put it on the the line on here with the uh, uh, Persians for now. Uh, until uh, we figure out something better to do with them. Obviously, they can't cover that entire line, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll get them. Uh, we'll, we'll get them increased in size here. All of our divisions will probably be getting increased in size overall, and I believe that's all we needed to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Uh, seeing that manpower is starting to tick down a little bit. Uh, yeah, quite a bit going. Oh, to all of our divisions there. Okay. Yep. That is a lot of manpower. I don't think I counted accounted for the, us changing our division designs uh, when I was making those units. So we might want to reduce the amount of troops that we're building here. Of course, we are going to change our manpower law uh, once we can. Was it 40%? I think it was. 40% uh, does allow us to change our manpower laws. Uh, oh, but we're not at war. Yeah, so we won't be able to do that until we go to war again. Okay, so yeah, this is what we have to work with. Uh, that's all the manpower that we have. So I kind of feel like we should probably reduce something here. I'm not entirely sure. I almost want to say the armored cars. Uh, maybe a few less armored cars. Uh, frankly, we just don't have uh, as many of those built out just yet anyways. Uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to reduce that. Uh, we'll reduce it to like six, I suppose. Yeah. I think, I think that'll work out nicely. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and I also wanted to use the rest of our army experience here uh, to uh, change up the armored cars. I think that would be uh, wise. Uh, just create a little variant here. Uh, just something a little bit better uh, because I don't think we're getting anything new anytime soon. Let's just go ahead and uh, increase them all by one. I don't think we'll be able to do any more. Well, we could. Can we do two more? No, we could do one more adjustment here. Uh, changing up the armor that would reduce the reliability, which as you can see, the reliability isn't all that high to begin with. It seems like the base reliability is actually pretty low. Huh, yeah, that's interesting. So we don't want to do any of those. Uh, and then the engine, I believe that, let me just check here. The engine doesn't do anything, it just makes it faster. Uh, but you know what? I don't think there's any point I'm putting an extra point into that uh, because they're still gonna be slowed down slowed down by the uh, the cavalry units. So let's just save it like this. Uh, get a little variant there, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and change these up uh, to the Mark ones. Okay, so we'll get those built. And I don't think we built any of them just yet. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that. No, I don't think we had any of them built. We just started there. 
Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we got all of our guys moving around. Another thing that I forgot to do is we need to uh, build some stuff. We have these repairing here, uh, but they'll repair on their own, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build some more military factories. I, I mean, there's a lot of other stuff we need to concentrate on, guys, but I, I feel like we have to get some more military factories. We just cannot do what I, wh what I want to do uh, with our units because we just don't have... We're going to build right there in Thrace, I suppose. Uh, we just don't have enough factories. I think that'll look good. Uh, let's go and pump these up to the top there. All right, excellent. All right, so we'll get three more military factories. That'll put us at 30, which is actually not too bad of a number. Uh, and you can see that these guys have all positioned themselves all over the place. Uh, they're leaving this side open, unfortunately, because this is kind of where I think uh, we'd really like to have them guarding. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to get some more units into them. We have, what, eight more reserve divisions currently building up. Uh, and they're going to be going uh, into that army. And we can... Uh, uh, you know, hopefully defend most of our ports. I think there's going to be a couple ports that aren't going to get defended. Uh, but maybe by the time of the war, once we get the manpower changed up, and it seems like we don't have any manpower. Okay. Uh, looks like our changing up our division designs uh, really kind of screwed us on that uh, side of things. So, you know what? We're going to have to change this up again because we're not getting any more manpower anytime soon, guys. Uh, we'll get the monthly, what we get monthly, uh, but that's it. I think we're going to go ahead and reduce this down to five, I suppose. And then the armored cars will go down to one. Uh, that'll give us a little bit of manpower, but that's going to tick down as well. Probably most of it. Yeah, because the, the changes that we made to our divisions uh, just required a crap ton of manpower. But I think that might be it. I think we're good to go now. All right, excellent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to speed five since we're in a matter of, in a, a time of peace right now. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do anything until we can get some war claims, because uh, I don't want to declare war on the Emirate here. And we can't form war claims until we get uh, the world tension up to 50%. And I don't really know how that's going to end up happening. Perhaps some events might fire up, uh, but the war technically would be starting soon, uh, 1914. Uh, there might be some events for that. I imagine there will be to kind of force the war into a start. Uh, what does that see, though? I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what's going to happen there. Uh, do we want to get... Uh, I want to say that these bonuses are going to apply to... Uh, our armored cars because I think they're getting the tank bonuses. I could be completely wrong though I have no idea if those are, are applying to them or not. Uh, let me just I just want to check here I'm gonna say with see what these are considered. Uh, well, you know what we're getting the armor company for the armor research and armor reliability So I want to say that these are being considered armor So any uh, bonuses that we get in the engineering here for the armor I think would apply to them uh, so that would increase their breakthrough by a little bit uh and we can't get this yet. Still quite a ways away. Uh, air superiority, uh, just not a huge uh, bonus right now. I think we're going to start working toward 1914 techs, guys. Uh, we're close enough in here. We're in December. Uh, I want to go ahead and start researching these. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the improved infantry equipment first, I believe. I think that would be the best thing for us to get. Uh, we could also start working on industry. No, no. That's 1916. Can't go industry. Uh, night. That's also 1916. Um, these are 1915. Not gonna be working on that. We could go on ships. That's 1914, as you can see. Uh, but ships aren't a uh, you know a, a huge focus. Also gonna go with the artillery, and I think that would be beneficial. Um, yeah, because they're 1914. Yep. Uh, but I think what we're gonna go ahead and go. Oh, this would be helpful. I almost want to get the field hospitals, just because that would help us immediately. Huh. Yeah, let's let's go with field hospitals, guys. I think that'd be smart. Um, that would help us with our uh, our guys not losing so much experience as they get uh, new units. We're also gonna need to train some of our units up. I'm sure. I'm kind of letting them get their equipment first before we go creating a new training army. Uh, we still have a lot of army experience left, though, uh, and I'm not entirely sure what we'll do that with that just yet. I guess we'll see. Uh, we got the equipment effort, which is fantastic. Uh, that's going to give us a nice little bonus here for our infantry weapons, and it gives us some experience, too. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'm glad that I didn't go for that infantry weapons one, because that's give us a 15% uh, research bonus for that. Uh, what we're going to go for next, um, down here, before in Afghanistan, this gives us 10 political power, uh, and it improves relations with Afghanistan, but that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you look at the, the Persian ones, even if, you know, I want anti-Persian policy, it doesn't give us a war goal against them. It just gives us hostile diplomatic relations. Uh, that's, I don't see how that would help at all. I don't really see what these, I, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, what is the point of the relation bonuses? Uh, it's not really that hard to get somebody like you in most cases. Uh, if we were, I guess if we were, had our own faction and we were trying to get somebody to join our faction, it might be helpful 
and getting a little bit of extra relations. I, I just don't see it. I'm not sure why we'd waste a national focus on those. Maybe at the end or something, but I, I just don't see the point uh, when we have a lot of other stuff to get. Uh, so we could start going down the diplomatic route uh, towards uh, this this route here, which would give us some uh, annex war goals, um, but they're kind of far down. Uh, this one's just going to give us a little army experience, also going to give that diplomatic hostile relations. This one would uh, give us war goal against our puppet, uh, and it frees our puppet. So we're going to have to fight them. That'll be a little bit irritating, um, especially if the UK, uh, you know, uh, guarantees them, because then we'll be losing a puppet that we had. However, it's the only way to get the next war goals here uh, for Yemen, Assur. Um, there's also supporting revolts here in some of the United Kingdom's territories. So that would be pretty helpful as well. I almost think we might go for that. Um, let me just see here uh, when these texts are. They're 1915. We could also go for the dockyards. I could definitely see the dockyards being helpful. Uh, I think that we're going to go down this route first, though. I want somebody to fight, so let's go ahead and get these. Uh, it's it's going to take us a while to get all those. Uh, it just sucks. We're nowhere near getting ourselves a uh, somebody to fight. Uh, because you have the world tension is just not there yet maybe some events will tick it up we'll just have to see uh do we we don't need infantry equipment right no we do not just want to make sure there uh we're gonna put this this one into i suppose the support equipment it seems like that's what we need the most of having so many issues getting support equipment i, I don't recall ever having so many problems with support equipment before uh but yeah we've had a lot of issues and i think a large part of that is the steel uh we just do not have a lot of steel uh, in our empire right now uh, which is uh, a little irritating, uh, but we'll, we'll get some more. Uh, I believe they might have some Romania, perhaps not. No, they just have wood, which is something we have a lot of. Okay, well, no wood, but we are going to get oil if we can conquer them. Uh, Persia, once again, is another uh, very uh, highly, uh, a, lot of, a lot of oil uh, in this area. So we'll be getting, we'll kind of be like, I'm not going to say we're going to be the oil capital of the world, uh, but we're going to have a crap ton of oil here. And once we conquer them, obviously, I don't know where, where we're going to get a war goal uh, without forming one. Uh, it looks like we had a factory done. I didn't even see that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, put into something. I kind of want to just say let's keep putting into the support equipment. Yeah, because we have most of the resources for it. Seems that we are once again short in oil. Okay, we were just talking about oil. Uh, let's go ahead and trade for some more, I suppose. Is there anything that we have a surplus of that we're currently importing? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and trade for some more oil. Okay, excellent. Go ahead and get one more from Austria-Hungary. Uh, and then, uh, what was the other thing I was going to do? There's something. Can't recall what it was now. I've already I've already forgotten. Oh, yes. I was going to check our units and see how they're doing on their equipment, whether we need to train them up again. Okay, this one does need to be trained up again. A lot of them still just don't have their equipment yet, so we're going to wait. Uh, there's no reason, no rush, really. I'm not at all concerned about uh, time right now uh, because I'm not joining the war uh, immediately. I'll probably play it a little bit. Play a little bit more cautious. Uh, maybe conquer a few countries, though. There's always a chance that when we declare war, they could end up joining the Entente, uh, which would end up forcing us into the war, uh, in which case we'd want to join the Central Powers. But we'll just have to see what happens. I'm going to try and get somebody uh, conquered, particularly Romania. That's who I really want to conquer here. Uh, but yeah, world tensions currently is actually decreasing right now, which is not really what I want. Seems that we have civilian factories open now because we got all that stuff uh, repaired there, which is excellent. I'm kind of glad that we did let that repair. Uh, but I don't really care so much about the infrastructure right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let me just see what we're working with. Uh, we have 30 military factories, uh, 35 civilian. I almost think we should get uh, maybe two more dockyards. Yeah, let's get a couple dockyards. I do want to start moving towards getting somewhat of a navy. Uh, obviously, I, I just don't think that we're going to be able to take on the Entante's Navy, though. I just I just don't see it, guys. Where do we want to put this? I think we're going to put it into... We'll put them over here. We'll get two more of those. Uh, yeah, we'll get those up, going up to the top there. Uh, get those building. And we do have a military factory as well that we need to uh, sign over here. We're just going to keep putting into the, the support equipment because I want to get that built up. Looks like we're short some steel. That'll probably only be impacting the ships, which I'm fine with for now. Uh, though it seems like, yeah, they, the ships are getting hit by... Uh, quite a bit. Okay. Um, and it seems that, yeah, we don't have any building uh, these here. So let's go and pull one of them at least. Okay. I don't think that'll work. Let's just go like that. Okay, we got the uh, develop the empire. Uh, now we can move towards crush the Arab revolts. Give us a little bit of army experience, and it's going to decrease our relations with our puppet state here. Uh, really, we're not getting anything from it. Nothing good. Uh, but we want to move down there so we can get those war goal focuses. How are we doing on getting our units trained up over here? Okay, some of these the Janissaries are almost done. Okay, excellent. Uh, do not have a lot of manpower, though. High Seas Fleet, that's awesome. Once we go to war, though, we will be able to... Oh, wait a minute. 
it had to be at 40%, and now it's at... Okay, the, hopefully the war will tick it up to 40% then. Uh, do we want to go and get High Seas Fleet? I kind of feel like we shouldn't, uh, because, yeah, we're not going to do that. We got all those 1914 techs that we can get. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the improved infantry equipment too. Or one, my bad. We're going to get the uh, improved infantry equipment one. I think that'll be helpful. Make our, our soldiers a little bit better. Um, they can perform a little bit better. And most of our guys are pretty well trained, uh, even as they're getting their equipment here. As you can see, there's, there's still a lot of needs here. Uh, we're probably missing... What are we missing here? Uh, some motorized, some support equipment, and the heavy artillery. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And those ones should get... Uh, all of these units should get them first before our uh, our other divisions. You know what? We're going to go ahead and make these guys. Uh, I don't really... Hmm. I almost want to put them into their own army here. Uh, these into... We are going to do that. Into their own uh, theater. Let's go and create a new theater. Uh, this is going to be like our reserve garrison theater, I suppose. Yeah, it's going to be like our... Yeah, we'll just call it garrison. Garrisons, plural, because we're gonna have two of them over here. We have these guys over here, and then we're going to assign these guys to uh, low priority. Uh, do not need a high priority for them. Uh, we're gonna get more units over here to Libya. A lot of people have stated that you know, obviously these these uh, southern divisions here would not be able to defend Libya, and and they wouldn't. Uh, we need uh, we need a few more divisions there. Uh, I expect the war to break out soon. Uh, like I said, we're not gonna jump jump right into it. Uh, we're gonna take our time before getting involved. Uh, we're going to you know probably build up a little bit more. Uh, I feel like we're just not there yet. Plus, I like I said, I'd like to get a few small wars knocked out while we can before we get pulled into the larger conflict uh, if at all possible of course uh, let's go ahead and get maybe some more military factories or maybe civilian oh yeah let's get some more civilian factories yeah I think that would be smart because uh, we only have uh, a few of them right now uh, I think we have yeah not even enough for two full lines so let's let's get a couple more uh, of these civilian factories built out here uh, we're gonna go in the, in the Balkans here we'll go like so uh, let's go with you know what? we should get a lot of these I think that'd be wise. Let's get four of them uh, for trading and, and such such things as that. And we have the, the two dockyards done as well. So let's go ahead and pump. We only have one of them to assign somewhere because uh, it looks like the other one went to the submarine there. Okay. Uh, we're going to put this into... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yes, that's right. I want to start building uh, some capital ships. I feel like we desperately need them. Uh, we can start going with the armored cruisers here. The armored cruiser 1s. That's that's an option. There's also the battle cruiser here. That's an option as well. Uh, and these are 2s. So I want to say that they're they're better. We have the dreadnoughts as well. Let's go and take a look at. I want to take a look at our tech here, our, our naval tech. You know, because everything's kind of a little bit different. Uh, you know, from from vanilla here. Uh, so yeah, we have the the dreadnoughts 2s. Uh, we have the the uh, battle cruisers too. I'm kind of looking at the resources. What what kind of resources these are going to be uh, requiring here? So we have the dreadnought. We have the battle cruiser. And where's the other one that we have? Huh? I'm not seeing it. The oh the armor cruiser one. Okay, so that is actually not as good as the battle cruiser. Uh, so taking a look at the battle cruiser and the dreadnoughts here. Uh, as you can see, the as far as the resources go, uh, the dreadnought is not very much more expensive. Uh, just one more wood. That's all. That's all it requires. A lot more manpower, though, so I guess that's something to consider. I think we're probably going to go with the battle cruisers, guys. Just looking at that, I think that would be the best bet for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some of those. Get the uh, battle cruisers here. Uh, where are they at? They're there. Uh, so yeah, we'll gra grab some of these guys up. We're going to put them up to... Uh, we're going to get them up here. I want them kind of uh, you know, really focused on for the resources. Uh, and it looks like we need some steel. So let's go and trade for that. We need enough where I think it does warrant uh, trading for some more uh, from Austria-Hungary. All right, excellent. Uh, so that should help with most of our resources issues. I think we're just short one oil, uh, and that's not bad at all. Uh, and then as far as these guys getting trained up here, like I said, I was kind of waiting for them to get all their resources so we can kind of tell who needs to be trained. Though it seems like most of them probably won't lose enough experience. No, I don't think so. All right, well, let's go and get these guys trained at the very least. Because uh, all of them need to train up. We got field hospitals as well, which is excellent. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get... We could get something else over here. However, I think we're going to start focusing, really focusing on the infantry and the artillery here. Uh, let's go ahead and get something else for infantry equipment. Let's get... I almost want to say early support weapons here. Uh, we could also go early motorized. I'm very tempted. You know what? We are going to go early motorized. I think that'd be wise. Let's go ahead and get that. I like that recovery rate as well. Okay, let's get early motorized though. Uh, I'd like to put those into those uh, divisions that we're building out right now. Uh, the... Uh, armor car divisions. I would like to get them changed out because I don't really like them having the cavalry units right now. So we have the crush the uh, revolts, the air revolts here. Where where are we at? Okay, crush air revolts. Uh, so we're gonna go and get get this one. That means that we're gonna be fighting them next, uh, which means we need to put the purple army on their front here. 
uh, which is kind of where I was expecting them to go anyways. I didn't think the Persian the Persian one would happen first. Made far more sense that this one would be, uh, you know, the first war that we'd be fighting. Uh, how many planes do we have? We do have a few fighters and a few, cl a few close air support. I think we're going to go ahead and get one air wing over here of each. Let's get a fighter air wing and a scout air wing. Uh, they're going to be uh, 100, I suppose. Let's go and get that set. There we go. Uh, and yeah, that'll work out. Uh, we'll have them assigned. We're not going to assign them anywhere. I don't want them to take any casualties. Uh, as of right now, we need to build up this infrastructure here. I kind of feel like maybe... Uh, no, pump that back down to the bottom. Uh, I kind of feel like we need to build the infrastructure up here just a bit more. It's really not high, although I guess we'd have to build that one as well. Yeah, because there's a lot of conflict going through here. Let me just make sure that these are, this is where the trade's going to go through. Oh, it's going to come through here for some odd reason. Okay. Um, yeah, that's... That's not good. I kind of feel like we're going to have to build this up a little bit more. Okay, I guess that's what we're going to do. Uh, it, it can't possibly take too long, right? Uh, building these up. Maybe we should wait until we get the... No, that's going to take a while. Let me just check here. That's going to be second, second, seventh, second of August, if I can talk here. Uh, I think we are going to build up just a little bit. Maybe in here, since it's where supply wants to go through. Let's get this up, built up to three, uh, and then this one up to four, I suppose. Although it's going to be limited. Let's just do that one. Let's see if that increases the supply at all. Yeah, that'll get done in the 20, 23rd of June for that first one. Uh, I think that'll help uh, with our supply issues. Because uh, I'm sure there's going to be some supply issues. I want them to take as little attrition as possible. Really don't need to have the desert just dragging down our, our equipment. Uh, and we did get the uh, improved uh, infantry equipment ones, which is excellent. Uh, I kind of want to keep on going down here. However, I I'm really tempted to go ahead and get the artillery next as well. Because uh, I think that this would be helpful to get that, that next level. Plus, we can start building those. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's get the uh, uh, artillery twos here. I think that would be wise. Uh, and then we can get them uh, slowly upgrading our troops, and we did get the we did get the next army doctrines here, which gives us a little bit more uh, soft attack, which is excellent. And we have a nice little bonus here for getting uh, the next one, which is going to increase the organization of our leg infantry and increase our division speed. Uh, so I think that'll be helpful. Uh, so we got these guys training up here. I think what we're going to do with these ones is throw them in a separate army for training. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, just some just random army here. Uh, yeah, let's just create a new one. It can stay right here, I suppose. I'll oh, we'll make them green, though, just so I can kind of figure it, see what they are. Uh, and yeah, we'll give them that, that little icon there. And then we'll go ahead and throw anybody who needs to be trained into there. Let's go ahead and get them training. I, th I think there's only a few divisions. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Uh, are they all over here, the purple army? Yes, they are. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw them into the training army. And we have nobody over here that needs to be trained up. Okay. Uh, do we have any guys over here? We do. We have one uh, these cavalry guys here. We'll get them training up. Uh, but these guys are all good. Those guys actually had a lot of experience. But throwing that battalion in there really impacted their experience uh, quite negatively, unfortunately. Uh, do we have any divisions ready? No. These are just ships that we have uh, built out here. We have uh, a few ships here. It's really not much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and combine these fleets, though. Uh, our, our Navy just got wrecked, guys. Uh, it does suck. It's, it's It sucks pretty bad. Uh, where are these guys at? Let me just see. Uh, where, oh, where are they? Ah, uh, there they are. They need to go to the Purple Army. And let's get them thrown onto that front there. And we should start uh, getting these guys their planning bonus going. That would be smart. Uh, do we... I suppose we'll try and take this land here. I kind of feel like we could just skip this, though. Or just cut them off really easily. Yeah, you know what? We're not even going to do that. We're just going to try and cut those troops off. Let's just take this territory here. Yeah, just like that. I'm not concerned with taking these provinces here. They might take it anyway with as many divisions that they have up here. Uh, but I think it would be better to just cut off whatever divisions are here. Uh, just cut them off and uh, just not even worry about them. Although, if uh, we would, that doesn't mean we have to hold this a little bit. Because I want to make sure that they don't take, it, they don't take the uh, air base that we have here. That wouldn't be good. Uh, but yeah, the war is still not kicked off yet. We're in July 1914. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, there, there's probably going to be an event. That's what I would imagine. There's going to be an event that's going to uh, make World War One happen. But you know what? I really don't know how that would happen, how the event would, would apply, considering the fact that Serbia is gone. Yeah, Serbia is not there at all. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how, how that would uh, happen, if the event would still fire uh, the one that you'd expect, you know, the uh, assassination of the Austrian Archduke. I, I just don't know how they're going to do that. We'll have to see. Uh, maybe the event still fires. I don't know. And it seems that I, the whole time I went down here to get this, and I cannot get it, and that's because they don't exist. Okay. Well, that sucks. 
All right, well, whatever. I guess we're gonna be fighting them. Uh, we did get a war goal. We're gonna make use of it. Uh, there's really nothing else for us to do here. Uh, we do have these guys training up here, and it seems that they're done anyway. So let's go ahead and throw them onto the purple army, get them going over that front, so that they're they're planning up. It seems that everybody else is done over here as well. Uh, we can just pull these guys out. Oh wait, no, no. We want to throw them into the yellow army right there. There we go. All right, excellent. And then we have one more over here training up. Uh, they need to go back into the red army. All right, excellent. Uh, anybody else that needs to be trained up? I should have checked this before uh, we destroyed that unit. Seems like that everything else is fine. Uh, I guess we're gonna go with the next national focus. I, I don't. I'm kind of irritated that yeah we can't go any further down here. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I thought I thought it was going to lead to them revolting, but I guess that's the support the revolts here. Uh, why would they be free though? Yeah, I wouldn't even expect them to be free. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to take that at all. Why wouldn't he even done this if I had known that? Probably should have checked that out. Whatever. It gives us something to do. We're going to be able to fight them. Uh, for Next thing that we're going to get, I kind of feel like... I mean, we, we do want to go down this branch eventually. Uh, only Mainly only just get this prepared for war. This gives us 30,000 manpower. Also gives us 5 experience. I think that will be helpful in time. So we'll probably want to go that. So we'll go down this branch. Also will let us to join the central powers here. Um, though, I mean, that can be done other ways. And most importantly, the technology sharing I think will be uh, incredibly helpful. What do we want to get next? I think we're going to go with... Um, any one of these would work actually. I think we're going to go with the equipment effort just because there's so much uh, that we still need down that branch. So let's go and get that. Uh, and... Yeah, that's right. We're going to declare war. Nobody's guaranteeing them, correct? We got Italy here. There's a non-aggression pact. Okay, we can declare war on them with no problems here. Uh, I don't know how many divisions they have. Let's just take a look. Four to five. We should be able to crush them pretty easily. Uh, so let's go ahead and declare war on them uh, and get this thing done here. Uh, we're not going to call any allies because we don't have any fucking allies. Uh, but yeah, let's annex them. And uh, I wonder how much this is going to impact world tension. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it didn't impact at all. Well, the peace shit anyways. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get these, these planes assigned. Um, over to here and get them doing a little mission get a little bit of uh, our planes actually doing something for once uh, We this is the first time we have air wings This is the beginning of our Air Force here, and how are these guys doing on planning? Everybody's really good except for that new division. Uh, let's just go ahead and send them uh, what, what is this guy? He's Desert Fox, right? Yep, uh, so let's go ahead and let them start going. Uh, there's no reason not to Should be able to conquer them fairly easy. We're gonna go ahead and just Turn, turn this down just a little bit here. Um, already got these this division here cut off, which is excellent. They got nowhere to retreat to. We're going to get them destroyed fairly easily here. And, yeah, we're just going to start marching down here. Like I said, this is this is not going to be a problem at all. We should be able to march through here uh, relatively easy. And we do have these guys training up, and they do not need to be trained. Okay. Well, that's, that's brilliant. Let's waste some equipment because <laughs> that's how we do it. Uh, and, yeah, nothing else really that we got going on right now. Uh, just kind of the, you know, regular old stuff. Just waiting for t technology, waiting for national focuses to get done. Uh, we have a lot of political power, and there's a reason for that, why I'm not using that. Although... I kind of want to use a little bit to increase relations with Austria, Hungary, and Germany. I think that would probably be smart. Yeah, let's let's go and improve relations with them. Uh, but the rest of it, I'm saving that for when we decide to select that national focus, which is going to cost us 500 political power. Because uh, I am going to go down that route. I think the the manpower is just far too beneficial to not go for it. Uh, and yeah, it seems like too many of these guys are, are concentrating over here. Let's have them attack down that way. Uh, and yeah, these guys are all trying to get these this this one division uh, destroyed here. It seems, although some of them are actually coming over this way. Uh, actually, yeah, a lot, not a lot of them are attacking here. This guy could could support, you know, help out, make that go a little bit quicker, guys. Uh, and yeah, we're fighting over here though. Once again, that's oh, this is the capital. Okay, so yeah, we might be able to defeat them once we take that capital. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Perhaps we'll have to take more of them. Uh, let's just see where they're at right now. 27% uh, towards capitulation. And then we'll get them destroyed uh, and annexed, and it will be fantastic. Uh, no resources here, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but they do have some, they should have a few factories, though, so I guess that'll be helpful. Uh, and, and the main thing is we're getting this war done early. We're also reconnecting our lands here. We're getting our can, can, uh, lands connected up, uh, which is excellent. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much all that we can do. Uh, over here, I think uh, we could, can't attack them because of that uh, you know the British uh, guaranteeing their independence. So until we get the world tension up to forty percent, uh, we can't change our manpower laws, which is unfortunate because we definitely need it. Uh, so I'm hoping that the peace, the peace treaty, will result in uh, the, the you know world tension increasing up to forty percent. What is that the C? I don't know. They only have one state though, so I kind of have that feeling like this is not going to increase world tension by very much. I mean, like I said, we'll see, uh, but I don't feel too good about it. 
Uh, and the war still hasn't broken out. Hold up, we got the opening of the Panama Canal. Uh, I guess we won't read this, uh, but yeah. We got the, the Panama Canal has now been opened. And it seems that we're losing on attack over here. This is a terrible area, guys. It really is uh, just an absolutely terrible era, area. Um, and yeah, this is, we can't cut them off because this is the capital here. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to be cutting them off on supply. Uh, if we took this port here, though, we can cut any other troops uh, off. Well, if we, if we went this way, we can cut this one off and get them destroyed. Uh, perhaps we'll do that. I don't know. Looks like we're getting some more divisions coming over here. Uh, and yeah, we should be able to win this one. Take the capital. Uh, and then we're going to be pretty close to defeating them. How many victory points is this? This is not really worth anything. So taking that capital might actually be enough. And you can see it's already at 97. Uh, and yeah, we'll see here. Uh, let's just see. I don't need to look there. Uh, yeah, their their national unity is only at 50 percent. So yeah, they're already ready to you uh, know to give up. Uh, and we got two factories from that too. Let's just wait until the peace. That should happen any minute here. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and grab that up. Uh, we're gonna just take all of their territory here. They don't really have much in the turn, and we're done. Nice. Uh, did it put up to 40 percent? No, it did not. Looks like it increased it by one percent. Okay. I mean, we got some we got some uh, equipment from them, uh, but really this was yeah, it's not it's not hugely beneficial, guys, to be honest. Uh, but you know, it was something to do, even the, even if it was really really quick. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and put this last this this new factory. Uh, I guess we're gonna put it into support equipment. That's really what we need here. Still kind of lacking in the support equipment. Uh, as far as what the purple army is gonna be doing now, I guess we're gonna put them back onto the uh, Iranian border. I think that'd be the best thing to do for now, because I don't really know what where the next conflict is going to be. We already got somebody over here in Romania. I'd love to attack him, but once again, world tension's just not high enough. And it seems like the war actually might be starting a little bit later. We have these four divisions here. Uh, we'll probably put them. We'll use them. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put them into their own army though. They're fine for now. Uh, but once the war starts up, well, yeah, we'll probably put them somewhere along here. I'm not entirely sure what we'll do with them. Uh, we'll see when we get there. Uh, and then we could we could always take the all the lands over here in Africa as well, because uh, we're going to be really focusing on taking Egypt. Uh, that's going to be a key uh, victory point for us, is getting control of the Suez Canal. Uh, and I, I'm sure the British are going to attempt to defend it. Uh, so it's going to be a tough fight, but we'll be able to come in through, through two routes here. Uh, so I think that we'll be able to win at least on one of them. Of course, we need to get more troops over here. Did we ever get those troops done training yet? Seems like these guys are having some issues training up. Uh, they just don't have enough equipment right now. Okay, uh, I almost want to say we're going to just deploy all these and get them training up. I think that is is exactly what we're going to do, guys. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode because uh, this one is over, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please have a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, hopefully the World, world the world War One will uh, kick off in the next episode. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, now that Serbia is not here, I, I just will have to see what happens. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.